Only on Way 31, the future plans to build a zoo in North Alabama hit a major roadblock. Way 31 confirmed the big land deal for a property in Limestone County next to I-65 is off. So the zoo's future home is now up in the air. Way 31's Matt Crochet goes over the behind the scenes scramble to salvage a new deal and keep momentum going. New interest from statewide political and business leaders. I'm being told those new conversations are happening right now. Yet the first major hurdle for the nonprofit that wants to build that zoo, the land, the developer that had the contract to purchase hundreds of acres needed to pull this off. Now dealing with an unexpected medical issue, Lansing companies couldn't complete the contract to purchase the property. And now it's back on the market while they are still working on a new offer. This contract falling through could leave the future of the zoo in limbo for now. Uh, lots of moving parts is, is an understatement. A big push is on right now to raise the $11 million needed to buy the property to begin building out the zoo and a nearby research campus, something they wanted to begin as soon as next year. That timeline now in jeopardy. And it is, let me tell you, uh, anything land in North Alabama is incredibly complex. Uh, you can go talk to any developers, any builders, um, there's a lot of people that see Huntsville now uh, and they want in on it. And, you know, being a local organization, we've got to fight them off. Since announcing their preferred location for the zoo, the interest in that prime real estate with easy access to the interstate only increasing. You know, should things happen, which, you know, this economy is super competitive, we would be fools not to have backup options in place. Despite the contract for the property falling through, Fitzgerald says his group still feels optimistic about where the zoo concept fits into other possible development plans on that site. They are involved in and working closely with owners and real estate agents on both sides. But if a future sale does go through and the new owners aren't interested in including a zoo on the property, the nonprofit has identified several alternative sites they would pursue they wouldn't announce where those properties are located. You know, there's always a little bit of back and forth when it comes to these developments. So the renderings and marketing material from the nonprofit still showing that vision for how the zoo would take shape on this particular piece of property. And despite launching a public fundraising campaign last year where they secured some large corporate funding pledges, about $50,000 only coming in as those grassroots donations are on their website. I'm Matt Kroschel. Way 31 News. Matt, thanks. The nonprofit is already hosting educational camps and programming despite not having secured the property for the future zoo. The plans call for a bill to be done in phases, taking at least 10 years to complete.